Yo, baby, yo, baby, yo. Y'all are rocking on another edition of Lockdown with Nick. Don't come on now the podcast. And we're going to dive right into it. Super Bowl, what do y'all think? Kendrick Lamar, the right person? I'm not so sure. I thought the NFL had a golden opportunity to get the greatest performer, hip-hop sensation from New Orleans. But they decided to go a different route. Kendrick Lamar. Now, I'm from Miami. I'm from down south. It's a little different. Maybe I don't know like y'all know. You know, enlighten me. Please tell me, did they make the right decision? Because as far as I know, nobody I know gets in the car and say, hey, play that Kendrick. Play that K-Dot. Nobody hops in the car in a whip and say, yo, put that on. I never heard it before in my life. So when they tell me that Kendrick is going to be the artist for the Super Bowl in New Orleans, I'm utterly shocked. I'm baffled. I'm confused. I don't know where did we go wrong here. How did we miss the mark? How did we miss the target? Are y'all going to, they not like us to death? I, I, I don't know. We heard this song. A million and 22 times this summer. We heard it. We kept playing it. You kept playing it. You kept playing it. Now, when the Super Bowl come around in February, I don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. So what else is we going to hear? And then a lot of y'all are telling me, well, he's not a mainstream artist like that. So, you know, you probably don't know a lot of his songs. Then why the heck is he doing the most entertaining, popular day of the year for Americans, the Super Bowl. Why? Please enlighten me, y'all. I I, I really want y'all to tell me. I, I'm, I'm from Miami. I'm from the South. Unless y'all are telling me, unless the NFL knows something that we don't know, that it's going to be a San Francisco versus Oakland, oh, Los Angeles Raiders Super Bowl, and y'all going to run for the Bay, you know? I only, I, I, don't, I don't know five people who listens to Kendrick Lamar? I don't know. I don't know. Me, I don't know. I, y'all tell me, are there more than five people down south? Like I, I understand that this is a, this is a, this is more than just for the black community and 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 whatsoever. So it need to be somebody who can, you know, who can reach the masses. But Little Wayne has rock music. Little Wayne is a global icon. Now, Wayne has gone through a lot of things, whether it's, you know, you know, drug related or gun related or, you know, not being able to perform the way he used to. But I think the man can muster up one magical day. He bring on, you know, juvenile, maybe, you know, he he done things with a lot of artists. And I think they dropped the ball on this one. I, 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 Kendrick just performed a couple of years ago when they did the whole Los Angeles one and they had, you know, 50, Eminem and Snoop and and all of them and Mary J. Bly. And Kendrick was part of that show. And I know he had a hot summer. He's had, he won the rap, the rap, the rap battle with, with Drake. And I get that. But come on now. We had another golden opportunity, just like the WNBA dropping the ball with with Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark for the Olympic team. We had, I just don't know. I just don't get it. But y'all know, y'all probably listen to it more than I do. And I know we have some subscribers that are into that. And I want to know, am I tripping? Because I could be, but I also could be right. But y'all let me know. Please, wait in, wait in, wait in, wait in. I know they not like us. I know. Humble? Bitch, be humble. Sit down or something like that. I remember something, something, something. That's all I got. I know you got a couple other songs. But off the top of my head, 
if somebody came up to me with a gun and they say, name five Kendrick Lamar songs on me. Off with your head. I'm done. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for you. I hope my will is set up for my kids and my wife because I'm gone. No possible way. No possible way I'm making it. And people are telling me, well, you know, Lil Wayne, he's not able to, to, to carry a stage like he once did. I know everybody go past their prime. But everybody got that one moment that they live for. New Orleans, Lil Wayne in New Orleans, Louisiana, you know, in his town. I think he could muster up that one great performance. Michael Jordan musters up a great performance. Kobe Bryant. You know, at the back end of his career, he musters up one great performance against the Utah Jazz. I think Little Wayne got that in him. Y'all got people who are past their prime who did all their old songs and, and lit up the stage. Madonna. We got Madonna to do it. Usher didn't do any new songs. You know, it's been names upon names that have, you know, were past their prime and they got to the Super Bowl and and they hosted it really well. And they did, you know, the old songs or things that people knew them for that still got the crowd hyping into it. And, and unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get that moment with Kendrick. I think we're going to get, they're not like us. And then he's going to have everybody dancing on the stage again to put another nail in the coffin on Drake. But... This is a global phenomenon that everybody wants to see. And this is what people are, you know, they're 15 or 20 minutes. There, Some people come to watch the concert more than the actual game. That's other people. I don't care for it too much. I think it's a waste. I think it gets in the way of the game of, you know, players who are, you know, high adrenaline and they get, you know, their legs get, you know, they can't, their legs get, you know, cold and they come in the game and they put them at a higher risk of injuries. So I don't like it per se. But hey, they're gonna have a good performance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune in a little bit. I want to sing. I want to, you know, dance and have a good time. And I don't, you know, and I get it. We're, we can't just put all the the African Americans on it that we oh we can have juvenile and five hundred four boys. I don't. I'm not asking for that little way. I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Would I like it? I think if you do like a little tiny desk performance where you get, you know, you honor the, you know, New Orleans jazz, and you have them playing, you know, renditions of a milli, a milli, a milli with some jazz on it. Hmm. Now you're honoring, you know, you got Little Wayne and you're honoring what they're known for in New Orleans. Some jazz. I'm not asking for B.B. King. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, what do y'all think, man? Y'all tell me how y'all feel about the choice for, this, for the Super Bowl. I, 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 I really want to hear. I, I want to know, am I wrong? Do I just not know? Am I not Hip to the hop, hop to the hip enough. You know, maybe I'm too old now. You know, maybe, maybe I'll pass my pride. Maybe I just want to hear somebody that I knew and who I grew up on. But maybe Kendrick is the right person. But y'all got to tell me, y'all got to tell me. Well, he got a Grammy. But I also heard that his last album was not that great. And, I, and you don't have that much songs or that, that I think were, you know, popular. Or, you know. But I could be wrong. Please enlighten me, man. Y'all tell me that, Nick, you are dead ass wrong. Get your dumb ass off this damn podcast talking about this because you're, you're out your realm. And I might be, but I might not be. Even when I'm right, I'm wrong. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. Y'all know what I'm saying. But please, man. Um, And like I want to also thank y'all for subscribing, um, hitting that follow button, you know, supporting, commenting. Me and Rudy, y'all know we dropping a new show on Wednesdays, every Wednesday, 8.30 live. We're going to hit all the hot topics. That Prescott get a new contract. Watson. <laughs> uh, I am about to call him Brett Favre. Y'all know the guy name. Aaron Rodgers, the 49ers, everything that happened in football this weekend, college football, WNBA, Fever, Angel Reese, and it'll be another hot episode, man. Y'all tune in live for that, man. As me and Rudy go at it like we always do. We may not always agree, but, you know, we do. We love each other. And we do love to bring y'all hot new content daily. And 
bring you all the fresh things that are popping up. So definitely weigh in. Tell me what, am I wrong? Am I out my element here right now? Just let me know, man. Just all I got right now. Like I said, thank y'all. Keep supporting. Come on now. Lock down with me. Enjoy y'all day.